It's 2023 and you just entered the new term at the University of Waterloo. You're probably getting drunk as hell from all the parties that Waterloo has. Who am I kidding? We're at Waterloo. You're probably studying and grinding assignments right now. But anyways, after a few weeks into 2023, while you and your friends go out to eat, you have the sudden realization. Oh shoot, I gotta apply for jobs. You quickly go back home, take off your pants, and go into your sweaty dorm cell. You've heard of all the stories of Nicholas T at Fair, Adam Wong working for Citadel, Jason Goodison at Microsoft, Tamar Shaheen at Tesla. You open Waterloo Works for the first time and... There's nothing. That can't be it. Where's the rest of it? And then you realize there is no rest of it, and everything you worked hard for to get into Waterloo was a lie. I knew I should've gone to UFT. <laughs> well, it looks like the tech industry bubble has finally burst, and it hit Waterloo pretty hard. I feel like yesterday when people were showing off their flashy new FANG internships, and now everyone's trying to scramble to get a janitor job. There were actually 50 people that applied to get a janitor job. I mean, we had people spending $200,000 of pretty much Robux currency on JPEG images of monkeys. No one wanted to face reality, so reality made us face it. In 2022, massive layoffs began to hit around October, and they hit hard. What normally would have been over a 75% employment rate for computer engineering, was nearly 50%. It was stressful and in the end, not everyone managed to find a co-op. And if that wasn't bad enough, January and February hit and bam, more layoffs. At first, it was tens of thousands of jobs lost, but 10,000 turned to 20,000, 20,000 turned to 40,000. And soon, there were over 100,000 workers in the software, tech, and engineering industries being laid off from their employers. No way, it was like the universe decided to pull a sick prank on us, and we were the punchline. Hilarious. After those job layoffs, everyone was left with nothing but shattered egos and the realization that calorie bust was probably out of the question for now. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Waterloo's co-op program is still going, um, it's going. It's still a great way to get prepared for the tech industry, I guess. In a way, it kind of forces you to do all of these things compared to if you went to another university, you probably wouldn't even bother applying for jobs in such a tough market right now. If you got laid off or you're still trying to find a job, honestly, my advice is just don't be too hard on yourself. I mean, it's a job. We, we work to live, not live to work. So take a deep breath, relax, and there's always something you can do at the moment. So what can you do in this situation? If you're currently unemployed, Grit and Perseverance are your new best friends. You gotta start cold emailing startup companies in your area and looking for new opportunities. For me, having to apply for all of these jobs during midterm week with six midterms back to back literally mentally destroyed me. I mean, like bro, sometimes it was just hard to even wake up in the mornings not wanting to get back to the reality of the situation of just applying for jobs, studying, doing the midterm, applying for more jobs, looking at rejection letters. It, it was just crazy. So back on the topic of cold emailing, what you want to do when you are cold emailing is targeting a lot of startup companies. So there are a lot of startup companies within the GTA area. So I know a friend of mine that was able to get a startup company, I think within Mississauga. And then there's also a lot of jobs within just Toronto, of course. And then there's a lot of jobs in Vaughan and then just also the Waterloo area. And you can also try looking in the Ottawa area if you're willing to go that far. And sometimes a lot of these startup companies will also allow you to work virtually, which is also a really good benefit because you don't have to worry about rent and moving out and all that stuff. Another thing is that when you are cold emailing and you're kind of looking for these jobs, you might not end up with a job that you particularly like. I mean, if this is your first co-op, then honestly a QA job or analyst job or a maybe a product manager assistant type of job wouldn't be too bad because they're also great networking opportunities and they also allow you to really understand kind of like the process of how everything works. So it's not terrible, honestly. And I mean, if all else fails, don't be afraid to reach out to your friends and family for help. Nepotism sucks, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, the current economic situation of everything tech related and engineering related, it's uh, it's not really amazing, but any ego and pride you had expecting from those flashy internships, for now, maybe just uh, throw them out the window for now. I don't really want to sugarcoat the situation at all, like the situation sucks, but it's a recession and that's life. We either suck it up or push forward and still suck it up. There's no giving up now, especially now that you've come this far, so giving up now would be like giving up on dreams and no one wants that.